What the? Who are you? Adam Barlow. Pleased to meet you. Is that my whiskey? What do you think you're doing? My dad, Mike Baldwin, used to own this place. I worked here for a bit too. Oh, now you don't. And we own it. It's a slingy hook. You need to be rude. You are. Okay. Just go. Just for living a few memories, boys. Don't mean to ruffle any feathers. Oh, sugar. Sorry. You're right. Yeah. You almost dropped your knickers. Mama! <laughs> I don't believe it. Who's the hottie? Adam Barlow. Catch up with you soon, ladies. I'll be around for a while. Better. I'm sorry about tonight. All right. Oh, another time. Mm. Oh, flipping heck. What's up? We need milk. I thought we'd be out all night. I'll go to the shop. You go on. Okay. I'll okay. see you in a minute. Well, yeah, thanks for a nice night. Yeah, you too. So, any chance of a rematch, if you know what I mean? Oh. You know what, I'm dead flattered, but things are just really complicated for me at the moment. Well, just see me as a pleasant distraction from your troubles, then. What do you say? <laughs> Is that a yes, then? Take a wild guess. <laughs> so, uh, that was unexpected. <clears throat> Yeah. It was nice. Nice? That's like telling a football player he's got a good smile. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose after tomorrow, when Billy's seen his bishop, that'll be it, won't it? Mm. He'll go back to church and Todd will just... Blimey! She didn't let the grass grow, did she? No, it's not as Hey! How exciting is this? I wonder if she... Oh, seriously. I've got more to worry about than their love life. Um, he needs to get to work. Cheers, love. It's quiet in here, isn't it? Mm. Just how I like it. Me too. Where the heck have you been? The others left ages ago. Sorry. It was a good job I did go to Maria's. She was flat out. And Liam had turned the gas on. The whole place could have exploded. Oh, my God. Are they all right? Yeah. Fine now. She's a bit shook up, though. So am I, to be honest. Well, what was she doing asleep? She was dead hungover. Yeah? Well, that's down to him. They were in here last night and he was playing her with drinks. She was already like this. Kirky! Hi, Gabe. Stay away from my sister from now on. She's still gonna have to look after herself, mate. Anyway, I'll see who I like. Not if I have anything to do with it. All right, lads, I think that's quite enough now. That's the whole point. You don't have anything to do with it, so keep your nose out. Hey, 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 hey! We all should calm down, yeah? I say she was gagging for it. Yeah. Oh, oh, right! Out! Now! I can sue you for assault. That the best you can do. Clamp me with some legal papers, you win. What is going on? He punched me, cos he was dissing Maria. Oh. Oh, here she is. Cause of all the trouble. Make the most of your last night of freedom, Signora, because it is tough inside. Yeah, that's enough. Come on, love. They're not worth it. Neither was she. What? What's going on? I thought I'd teach them some manners. What, have you just had a fight with him? Look, are you two all right? I heard what happened. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> that was sore. Yeah, it is. Out of practice. Well, look, why don't you come back to mine and I'll sort it out for you? Yeah, thanks. Uh, Adam, get out here now! I said get out here! I don't live there. You want to calm down? What's that door ever done to you? You need to back off, mate. You know me, it's mine. I have a lot of money in that factory and I'll use it to bring you down. You might have money, but I've got legal know how. Brains and an old wrong to right. You want to see me in court? Yeah. <laughs> see me in court. What'd you call a corner in a suit? Guilty. You know, it wasn't so long ago you were picking a fight with me. I don't feel for when I smell it. And now you're shouting the odds of my granddad's doorstep. This is intimidation. 
I've a good mind to add that to my claim at all, lads. Yeah, you want to smack in the face, do you? You're my witness. I never touched him. Uh, you're a little boy. I'm six foot, mate. I'm six foot! Sorry we had to meet here. I forgot Kurt was coming over. It doesn't matter as long as I get to see you. So, when are you going to tell Eva? Look, we need to play carefully. But you promised. Look, I meant it. But let me break it off gently without mentioning you. What? Look, I'll say I've had second thoughts. I'm not ready for whatever. You know, we break up. I'm single again. Then, when we go public, it'll look like we've got together naturally. No affairs, no recriminations. No one gets hurt. Think about it. All right, so we've got to carry on in secret, then. I know it's not ideal, but trust me, this is the best way. You know, it protects everyone, especially you. Well, as long as we're together in the end. I told you. I've made my choice. I don't want to lie anymore. I see they've lowered the rent again. Yeah, I know. I'm about to start paying it. Really? You sound surprised. Well, it, it, even with the reduction in rent, it's still an expensive venture. Yeah, well, uh, I reckon I'll be coming to a bit of money soon. Usual place, Steve. Who's paying? You're a gentleman, thank you. How much? Five grand by tomorrow. A one-off payment. And at least in front of your eyes. And I'm supposed to trust you up and save the house, but... Yeah. Come on, I think that's pretty cheap, don't you? Think of it as a wedding present for Eva. Five grand for wedded blissful ignorance. What? Okay, five grand. One-off payment in exchange for your silence. Do you hear me? A one-off. I hear you. I mean it. Because let me tell you, I'd be happy to pay way more than that to someone who'd be able to shut you up. Permanently. Strong words, big man. I mean it. Time. Uh, could you and your aftershave do one, please? I hear you and your official girlfriend are uh, buying your own place. I suppose congratulations are in order. Thanks. Bye. Couldn't happen to a nicer couple. I mean, you're such a stand-up guy, and anyone that says otherwise gets a punch in the nose from me. If you want more money, spooky. It's like your psychic or something, isn't it? You've had five grand. True, but irrelevant. I knew this would happen. I'm not giving you any more. Why is that? I'm saving all your money for the deposit for the flat you're buying with your fiance. Just get out. Either I know that you're the businessman, head for numbers, etc. But uh, not buying my silence is a classic case of false economy. No ten grand for me equals no fiance for you. Unless she's happy with you snogging Marie in the gin up. We've got a kid looks for that. All right. Get back to me, yeah? <coughs> Stung the place out. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what do you want? Uh... uh... Morning. Yeah, on my way. I've got it. Yeah, I'll be there. I hope that lot's from a cash point and not my safe. I know how it looks. 
I've not robbed it. I've, uh, I've sold my car. Give it up, son. Adam's blackmailing me. What? I know you'd give. I haven't got the money. There's no plan for time. I haven't got it. And I've no intention of getting it. Hard ball, eh? Interesting. You know, it's poor Eva I feel sorry for. She's gonna be devastated. You tell Eva and I'll go straight to the police. And then to the law society. <laughs> bye bye, career. Hey. Hey. What's he doing here? Ah, the lovely Eva. We were just talking about you. Adam's just going. Oh no, he's not. <clears throat> he's been trying to get me to dish the dirt on a supplier. Hey? He's got a client who's suing them. Right. Wow. The lies just drip off your tongue, don't they? Look, I'll, I'll get back to you, yeah? Just give me a couple of hours. Uh, what if you change your mind again? It's hard to know where you stand with this one, eh? The deal's on, the deal's off. It's like you can never fully commit to a choice. Just leave me out of your slanging matches, eh? Look, I, uh, I reckon there's a way of us making this work. It must be. Hmm. Let me think about that one. Nah. I'm sick of your lies. Aiden's got something he wants to tell you. Biggest wind up merchant. Please respect your fiance enough to tell the truth. And we're back in car. Yeah, he's just there to cause trouble. He's had it in for me ever since that business with the factory. Shall I put you out of your misery? <sighs> Eva? You okay? What's wrong with her? Eva, can you hear me? Eva, look, call an ambulance. Try splashing some cold water. Look, just call an ambulance, will ya? She's pregnant. Eva. Oh. What happened? Look. You must have fainted. Come here. Come on. Look, we're going to get you to a hospital, OK? No, no, no. I'm, I, I'm fine. I just, I just feel a bit woozy. A brandy might help. Look, she can't drink. Um, babe, can you just get me a cold flannel from the bathroom, please? Yeah, sure, sure. Meet me in the kennel behind the rovers in half an hour. What? Aidan can't now, OK? Yeah. Hadn't you better get lost? Come on, baby. Take a seat here. You get my text? Lucky escape you this afternoon. Is she okay now? No thanks, do you? I didn't know she was expecting. So you'd have been all sweetness and light if you had. Congratulations, by the way. You must be very happy. How does your bit in the side feel about it all? What is it you want? Well, you might be surprised to know, but I'm sorry about what happened today. Her being pregnant changes everything. I've decided to drop this and uh, leave you alone. I saw the fear in your eyes when she passed out. I just don't have the stomach to mess you about anymore. What's the catch? There is no catch. You were trying to get 10 grand out of me this morning. There's an innocent child in the frame there. It changes everything. Okay. Well, thanks. My pleasure. We've only told a few people, by the way. My lips are sealed. Right. Hope it goes well. You look after her now, yeah? I'm with the client. And he needs to know he's got a thief for a solicitor. Oh, hi. Careful, a slander. You stole our machines. And we've got the proof. <laughs> Colin, would you mind coming back tomorrow? Well, I'll have to check my diary. Oh, you can hire a solicitor who isn't completely bent. I hope that isn't aimed at me. You know it isn't. Poor choice of words. Actually, I can check my palm pilot now. <sighs> See this? Your business card was at the very place where one of our machines was found. You found your machines? One of them. Oh, I know it's ours, because it had an identifying mark on it. An identifying mark? Uh, yeah, we'll be telling all this to the police, of course. I know they don't call them palm pilots anymore, but years ago, I was the first person to get one at work. In fact, it was my nickname for a while. Your nickname was Palm Pilot? Sounds about right. Listen, you've no proof whatsoever. Our cards are everywhere. It's called advertising. Right, I'm off. Where are you going? I'm sure you can handle these gentlemen by yourself now. Come on, Pam Pilot. Come on, I'll walk you out. 
And we can work out another appointment for you. All right. We've got you banged to rights. Oh, really? Well, I don't see any evidence at all. Just the car that of a hundred shops we left them in. Now, if you don't mind, some of us got a business to run. We know it was you. Eva couldn't have pulled this off by herself. You've been sniffing around for months. A little word slander springs to mind. It's all starting to add up. And once we've got enough on you, you're going down. We're coming for you, so. Double, please. Do you not think you've had enough? I could always go to the flying horse. <sighs> you seriously thought she'd have you? <laughs> Must be hard sleeping on your sister's lumpy sofa. When did Daddy take in? You think you're it, don't you? You think you're the man. <laughs> I'll tell you what everyone else sees, shall I? A joke in a cheap suit. A joke? If it's a good laugh you're after, I watched that wedding DVD of yours. I hear Maria's worn out with a cop. Hey, 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 sit down! Sit down! Man. Come on, son! Yeah. He's not worth it! Yeah.